In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use GIMP to combine a couple of photographs to make this image that you see here. Sometimes all you need are a couple of photographs that wouldn't normally belong together to create interesting effects like this one here. So let's start by loading our two images. So go to the File menu, select Open as Layers, and then select the images. And you can press down the control key to select more than one at a time. And then press open. And here's our two photos. We have one that's just a photo of a road. Let's go ahead and turn that off for right now. And we have one photo of a couple of bears playing around in the water. So let's go ahead and move this to the top. So select the layer with the bears on it and press the green up arrow. Now the first thing that we want to do with this photo is to give it an alpha channel so that we can make part of it transparent. So right click on the layer and select add alpha channel. And then I'm going to zoom in a little bit more closely on this. And now click on the free select tool that looks like a lasso right here. And then click on the checkbox next to feathered edges and set this radius for just about one pixel. And then go over to the image and click and release the mouse button about right here. And then drag up to another point, click and release, and just keep repeating this until you get up to about the nose area on the bear here. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while I do this. Okay, now I've reached the nose area, so I'm just going to click on a few extra points around here to get back to my starting point. And my very last click will be at the point that I started, and that will complete the selection. And then next I can just press the delete key on my keyboard to delete this area. And then we don't need this selection anymore, so we can go ahead and turn that off by going to the select menu and select none. And then let's zoom back out again. So I'm going to go to the view menu, select zoom and fit image and window. And then next select the eraser tool, which is this button right here and choose a hard brush. I'm going to use this one, which is hardness 100 and then select a big brush size. And I'll be using a brush size of about 500. And then just start erasing some more of this image. And we don't have to be perfect right now. Okay, and that's good for now. And then next you can turn on the bottom layer by pressing the little I button next to the left of it but we still want to keep the top layer with the bear on it selected. And then come over to the Move tool, click on that, and then come over to the top of the bear, and then you can just move him over. And let's put him about right here for now. And then next, go back to the Eraser tool and click on that, and then change the brush from a hard brush to a softer brush and I'm going to use a hardness of 075. And now you can start erasing a little bit more. So let's get rid of this area right here and just come around. I'm going to get rid of all this white here on the bottom. And then next try to get rid of some of this water here. And by using a fuzzy brush, this will smooth the edges between the road and the water. Okay, and now zoom in a little bit more and then change the size of the brush. So now let's go down to a size of about 200 and then continue erasing. And then reduce the size of the brush again and this time I'll go down to about 50 and then I'm going to clean up a few areas here with this more detailed brush. And that looks good. And if you'll notice here now, this water has kind of a greenish tint to it, and the road is a gray color. 
So we can fix that by reducing the saturation on this bear photo. And this will work because the bear itself is basically black and white. So by reducing the saturation, we really don't change the look of the bear very much. So you can go up to the colors menu and select hue saturation. And then pull the saturation slider to the left until the watercolor starts to blend in with the road color. And this looks good, so then just press OK. And then now let's zoom back out by going to the View menu and select Zoom and Fit Image and Window. And then we can reposition this by selecting the Move tool again, and then you can position the bear to any spot that you'd like. And I think I'll put it about right here. And then we can merge these two layers together by right clicking on the top layer and select Merge Down. And then as a final step, we can crop our image. So select the Crop tool, which is this button right here, and then select the portion of the image that you want to keep, and then press the Enter key on the keyboard to crop the image. And then we can zoom the image one more time by going to the View menu, select Zoom, and Fit Image in Window. And now we have our completed image. Well, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.